welcome to this month's episode of Banging Book Club on my channel. I'm Lucy Moon. I'm Lena Norms. And I'm Hannah Witten. Oh, Banging Book Club, yay! These yay! guys are ill. Can you tell? <laughs> low energy here this month. I'm <laughs> really two out of three got of us got a Tesco are bag Ill. by my feet in case they throw up. That's You're not actually. true. No. <laughs> I brought chicken goujons. Oh god, that was good. Healing properties. <laughs> chicken goujons for the soul. This month we have been reading Bonk, a book by Mary Roach, and it's about the curious coupling of sex and science. Emphasis on curious, because I'm still a little bit curious. I'm I think we really all agreed. Yeah. We recorded the podcast, uh, you can go and listen to that in the yeah. link below. But in the podcast, we talk about how there's not any conclusions. And that was fine, because I, I realised that there probably aren't any. If Mary Roach, she gets really obsessed. Like, if Mary Roach yeah. hasn't found it, they're probably not out there. Just housekeeping, there is a long podcast where we discuss the whole book. This will just kind of be a brief overview video so if you haven't read the book you can still watch this video if you have read it then you can listen to the podcast if you don't know what banging book club is it is a monthly podcast and video series that we are doing together about sex books books about sex uh we've got the whole reading list on a google doc somewhere can one of you guys please link me to that because i haven't seen it for a long time <laughs> trigger warning the book there is some mentions of rape although i would say it's not like a description, it's more of a discussion on. Previous episodes have been up on Lena's channel and my channel, if you want to catch up. So let's talk about punk. I think for all of us, we said this podcast too, but for all of us, we are quite humanities mm. um, orientated. Mm. So I think for this, this for me, this was a little bit of a struggle. Not in that it was particularly too hard or to, to like really understand. Like my basic GCSE science got me through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, following it at least, but just from an enjoyment perspective, I was like, it's a little bit heavy on the science. It's very sciencey. Um, yeah. However, Mary's voice comes through really strongly, I think, in it, and it's kind of more of a columnist kind of vibe. Yeah, they're all yeah. kind of. I'd say this is a collection of essays. Yeah, she definitely yeah. has a personality in it, and the narrator Mary also takes part in some of the experiments and sex research that's being done. Mm. Which, and I think as well, like a lot of the stuff, or a lot of the experiments are, aren't particularly revolutionary, like now, or well, they are. Mm. But it it's... goes through a history of different sex research. So mm. from like Masters and Johnson in the 60s to like now. Yeah. Also, but a great not. bit about clitorises. Clitorises? Clitori? What's the plural? <gasps> and yeah. whether there's a scientific reason properly why you don't orgasm during penetration. Literally break it down by the centimetre. Special shout out to whoever illustrated the cover. Yeah. It's like a penis pinata. <laughs> what is this penis thing? Yeah. It's like a really weird light feature. I, want, I think we all, we all learned something. Yeah, I learned, well, I learned a lot, honey, but I can't remember half of it. That's the thing, there's so much in there. You, It's a bit confusing to know which bit you should focus on. Da Vinci is not a surname, it means literally of Vinci. It just means that he is of a certain location, so it would be like calling me Hannah de Manchester. What else can we say that we haven't said in the podcast? It's 300 pages, which seems quite short, but it's not a YA novel, so it takes a bit longer than it would a 300 page We've YA novel. We've been spoiling novel. ourselves thus far yeah. with like, yeah. just plays and monologues and YA novels. It's got a small font. And there's a lot of footnotes. One of the things that we were saying, or that at least frustrated me about this book, was it's very sciencey, and I like that part, but I just needed to know why this was important. I needed mm. a big conclusion mm. at the end to be like, this is why the study of sex is really important for society. And this yeah. is what yeah. the human experience gains from these yeah. researchers. It felt like, like some big it, picture stuff I, at the end. I really needed that. And it, it felt like it a me. PhD without the analysis. Like yeah. you just got all the evidence. Yeah, it was like... This happened, and this happened, and this happened, and this happened, and I'm like, how and why? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would also just like more banter. Yeah. Needs more jokes. I was sold on this book by someone telling me it was hilarious. Yeah. Not just, it's funny and it makes me smile a bit. Hilarious. <laughs> Did you read the book? Did you enjoy the book? Do you have words to say about any of the books we have read or are reading during Banging Book Club? If you do, then feel free to talk about them with us. Either you can make a video response or use mm -hmm. the hashtag on Twitter, Banging Book Club. They're both really good ways to share with us what you're mm -hmm. reading and how you're finding it. I've created a playlist of all Banging Book Club videos so I can add it to that if you tweet yours. You a little yeah. museum of Banging Book Club Yeah, forever. all of the Banging Book Club members. It's very exciting. If you want to hear more about Bonk, then we've done a, like a probably half hour podcast. There will be a link in the description box. And next month, we are reading All the Rage by Courtney Summers. You were head over heels for it, right? So, so excited. Do we have a copy of it that I can hold up and be like, yeah. 
Sweet. This is All The Rage. Lena just found it for us. Thanks, Lena. No props. Okay, thank you so much for watching. We've had a really nice time talking about this and I hope you've enjoyed it too. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Oh, imagine What's wearing high-waisted jeans and you had to clip on a belly button. <laughs> okay, that does not go in. Why not? <laughs> or it get, I don't know. I mean, it's great. it could do. Could so do. That was a great moment. <laughs>